Hello, and welcome to my QTP video tutorial where I will be showing you how to connect to Quality Center or ALM. In this video, I will be answering the following three questions. First, what is Quality Center or ALM? Second, why would I want to connect to it? And third, how do I connect to it? As a reminder, to stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button above. This now moves us to our first topic, which asks the question, what is Quality Center or ALM? Quality Center or ALM is the central hub for the overall QA test effort. It is a central repository that allows you to store information about releases, test cycles, requirements, test cases, both manual and automated, defects, and reports. In addition to storing the information shown above, it is also likely where your test will be run once you have finished creating and debugging them. This now moves us to our second topic, which asks the question, why would I want to connect to it? There are lots of reasons why it is beneficial to connect QTP to Quality Center or ALM. But one of the main reasons is that it is a central location to store your test and test resources. Things like function libraries, data tables, etc. Also, you have the ability to access your information from any computer that is able to connect. Other team members are able to view your information. And there is most likely a regularly scheduled backup to protect your files. This now moves us to our third topic, which asks the question, how do I connect to it? Now the first step to connect QTP to Quality Center is by telling QTP you would like to do so. And to do that there are a couple of different ways. First, you can use the button bar, which I show in step 1A at the button that you need to click. As you can tell, it looks like a green arrow pointing into a circle. However, if you would like to click the menu bar instead, you can click the file button then click the ALM QC Connection button. Once you've done that, you'll be presented with the HP ALM Connection window. The first input that you can enter a value into is the server URL. This is where you would enter the Quality Center server URL that has been provided to you. Once you've done that, your next option that you can choose is to reconnect to server on startup, which is the checkbox immediately beneath the input. If you check this box, what you're telling QTP is that you would like QTP to automatically connect to this Quality Center server every time QTP loads. This is typically what you would like to have happen. However, in the rare instance that you would not like QTP to automatically connect to Quality Center, you would not check this box. Once you have either decided to check it or not, you're now ready to click the Connect button. And by clicking the connect button, this is making a connection between QTP and the Quality Center server. You'll then be presented with a username and password input. Now this is your Quality Center username and password that has been given to you. To begin, enter your Quality Center username. Then, enter your Quality Center password. You'll notice before you click the Authenticate button that there is a checkbox to the left of that button that says Authenticate on Startup. If you check this box, what you are telling QTP is not only would you like for QTP to make a connection to the Quality Center server when it loads, you also want it to go ahead and automatically log you in as well. This would be what you would typically like to have happen. However, in the instance that you would not like for QTP, to automatically log in with your username and password, you would uncheck that box before you click the Authenticate button. After you click the Authenticate button, you'll then be presented with the option to choose your domain and project. Now the domain list will populate based on the domains that your username has access to. Once you've made your choice in the domain dropdown, You'll then move down to the project input where you need to select the project that you would like to connect to. Now the list of choices in the project that you see are the projects that you have access to within the domain that you chose. So go ahead and make your selection in that drop down. 
Once you've done that, you'll notice that there is a checkbox immediately beneath the project input that reads, Login to Project on Startup. If you check this box, you're telling QTP that not only do you want to make a connection to the Quality Center server when it loads, you also want it to connect in with your username and password, and you would also like it to automatically connect to the project that you just selected. Now this is typically what you would like to have happen, however if this is not what you would like to have happen, click to uncheck this checkbox before you click the login button. Once you've made your decision about the checkbox, go ahead and click the login button. At this point you've now successfully connected into Quality Center. You can go ahead and click the close button. It will close the HP ALM connection window and return you back to QTP. This now concludes our video where I've answered the following three questions. First, what is Quality Center or ALM? Second, why would I want to connect to it? And third, how do I connect to it? As a reminder, to stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button above. Thank you, and I hope that you have a great day.